Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. My name is Rhea and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. And today I will be sharing with you guys what is inside my toddler's backpack when traveling. So uh, we did travel. I know not very many people are traveling right now due to the pandemic, um, but in case you are, um, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that we keep in my daughter's backpack that help keep her entertained when we're on the road. Most of the time we do travel by car, so um, I mean, you could have this bag with you on the plane or you know, where, however you decide to travel. Um, but yes, so we did go to South Texas at the beginning of June. And I know I'm a little bit late showing you guys what we put in her bag while we were traveling, but I thought better late than never. So. So first off, her backpack is one of these cute Skip Pop backpacks. This is the unicorn one, and I did personalize it by putting her name on the front. Um, it does not already come like that, but you could add it and customize it yourself. Um, but inside, we have all of her fun goodies. So, of course, with any toddler or kid, you're always going to want coloring books she has several of these um but we just have one in here for now because um we're not traveling long distances right now um but when we were you know traveling to south texas which is like a 12 hour drive we had a couple of different ones so that she could you know switch from whichever one she wanted uh, so we do have one coloring book and then we have colored pencils so I do not keep crayons in the car not even the twistable ones because I don't trust her with keeping them all together and I don't want crayons in my car like I don't want them to end up melted with this Texas heat so we go with colored pencils um we don't do markers either because we've done them in the past and she ends up writing all over herself and so we'll go from one place to the next and she's got a whole makeover and I just can't deal with it so we switched to colored pencils I feel like it's the smarter way to go so if you have a toddler who's mischievous like mine I would highly recommend you switching to colored pencils as well the next thing we have in here is one of these magic coloring books um, I forget what this is called it's the one oh it's called imagine ink sorry it's on the back um, I don't have the marker for this but it's basically just like a water marker and they color on it and the pages turn you know whatever color it is um, she's already scribbled on this one as you guys can see but it's just a water marker and she just colors on the page and it turns colors so it's mess free she cannot color on herself with this one and so that's the only marker she is allowed to have in the car um, but you can find these at Target at um, Dollar Tree I've seen some at Dollar Tree and Walmart and stuff like that and grocery stores um, and I think they're like three dollars they're not too expensive um, but they're definitely worth it if you guys if your kids like to color with markers so highly recommend these things <clears throat> the next thing we have in here is a book um, she loves to read and she likes looking at the pictures and finding things inside the car that match what's in the book and things like that and so um, we do have a book in there for her sometimes she has a couple different ones I think this is the only one that's in here right now um, but we switch these out every once in a while and then of course you have little toys so these are both learning electronic toys. Um, she has a little phone that says the numbers and you can pretend to call somebody. It's super cute. I think we found this at a Goodwill or something like that and it's it's all broken and needs replacing because she's dropped it so much but um, it definitely comes in handy and she likes to pretend to take pictures. It's really cute. And then the tablet here is um, a Fisher Price tablet and it's one of those learning tablets so you turn it on in the back um, and then you set which level like stage it's on and then she can just press the buttons and it makes the sound says the you know picture and gives you the letter and things like that so that keeps her entertained and that's just something for her to have um, we do carry a regular tablet and I'll put movies on it if we're traveling long distances like when we went down south um, Her dad has a tablet that she he lets her borrow So we'll load it up with movies from Netflix and Disney Plus and Amazon and she can just kind of watch them as we go We don't yet let her use a tablet. Um, I feel like she's just still too small for one and so um 
she's not allowed to play with it all of the time but occasionally she does have a tablet that she's able to watch and play games on um but that stays outside of her backpack because it's expensive and i don't want her to lose it or mess it up and like i said it's just not something that we let her play with all of the time um she also has a little stuffed animal this changes from time to time just depending on how she's feeling she's really into puppies right now so she's got this one that her great grandpa gave her from down south and it's a little like beanie baby thing it's super cute and then of course you cannot travel in without traveling in style so she's got some sunglasses in here these came from the target dollar spot they were super inexpensive they were a dollar she has several pairs of these and they are in my car in her dad's car there's i think two pairs in here and then she's got some in her room so we always try and make sure to have sunglasses because she likes to be like mommy and daddy in the car and wear her sunglasses so that's what we have that's everything that fits in the front pocket um like i said we usually try to have more coloring books in here it just depends on how far she's traveling another thing now this could fit in here and that is her little pouch um it has her name on it this is from the shop eden and emeralds i will link her shop in the description box below i love e and e um she makes these cute little pouches that are perfect for organization um but it has an extra set of clothes in here for scarlet um it has a pull-up um like i said when we travel long distances we usually put her in a pull-up um until we can make a you know a, a stop at the bathroom to get gas or anything like that and then of course we have her mask and some hand sanitizer because that's the time we're living in right now um so all of that fits in this nice little pouch we have a set of clothes a set of underwear a pull-up and her mask and hand sanitizer that could easily fit inside her backpack but most of the time it's in my bag um in my purse and then on the side here we have her cup um most of the time it's water or juice because sometimes she tends to leave her cup in the car and i do not like washing stinky milk out of a cup so that's that um in this front pocket here is where we keep all of her goodies so we have chips fruit snacks cookies all that good stuff because anytime you're on a road trip with a kid especially toddlers they tend to get hungry and so you like to keep them happy and not cranky and so we always make sure to have snacks on hand for her but that is it that is what we carry in scarlet's bag when we are traveling let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that we missed um that you guys carry in your kid's bag that whenever you're traveling that maybe we might consider putting in um in hers um we do occasionally buy the window clings like those little stickies um but she usually sits in like the middle of the car and so she's not near a window um so i don't buy those too often unless we have to like fold up one side for storage space and stuff then she'll be by a window but most of the time she's in the middle um, but that is also another great option and another great way to keep your toddlers entertained while on the road um, but like i said if there's anything that you guys think would be awesome to add to her bag let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and you guys have a blessed and beautiful day bye